<laughs> I know where I'm aiming. Rolling underneath. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Noisy Boy here, and welcome back to the channel. In today's new YouTube video, we're going to be continuing on with the Frenzied Blaze, but before we get started guys, remember, if you have been enjoying this series so far, remember to smash the like button and support my channel if you're new. Feel free to subscribe, because I love to hear feedback and your comments in the comment section below. Eh, 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 still not 100% sure where to go, obviously, but we did end up going this way before and blasting this wall down, so... Who's that way to go? But I just want to see. Oh, one of these things again. Just needed to turn around. There you go. Damn, so pretty sweet damage. Oh, damn, I hit the bloody. Not doing a hell of a lot of damage, but definitely slowing them down like that is really helping. I think I mentioned it a little bit in the last episode where I'm going to try and switch up between medium, like, you know, medium stance and heavy stance or high stance. Just to try to get those benefits from Tengen, your best bird. You know, sometimes I forget and blah blah blah. We'll probably be mainly against like the bigger boys though, like big boppers. Let's get another one here. Now I probably have just a couple of um, Kodamas that I'll probably have to backtrack to later on. Hopefully not, but I might have to. Uh, where'd it go? Well, looks like it might be through here. Obviously one of those dark realm clouds. I wonder if you'll hit me if I grab this. Oh no, they have to come to me to hit me. So it should be right unless I can get him to bait him through to walk through that shit. Damn, I can't get there. I'm dead now. Oh, damn, he dropped his soul core too. Uh, I wonder if I can get there. I'm going to clear this place first. There are blue flames there, so I think there might this might be a wheel monk. Uh, I wish I had something that could resist fire. Alright, let's rock and roll. Oh, there's a fucking guy in the back. Let's try to draw this guy away a little bit. That hurt him. That hurt me. As you can see, doing some not bad damage, but I do prefer the medium stance though. But you need to get that nice buff for the um, high stance. That just improves your strength so much. This way, I guess. Looks like there's a shortcut to um shrine through here. Oh, nice. That's one shortcut down. Just gonna have to run through it. I 
Wish I had enemy sensor. Oh, what the fuck is that? I wasn't even supposed to do that. Guess it worked in the end. No way through there. Um. Fuck that up, damn it. That's better. Bloody hell. I have a feeling this is going to be like the long part of it. We did complete a little bit of the first part of this uh, mission, but I'm not quite sure how much I actually went through. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure how much of the this level we uh, completed in the first video, but like... I feel as if we explored enough, but I don't. F I feel as if we didn't actually do very much. Like, as in unlock shortcuts and collect kodamas and shit like that. Looks like there's a way to go down there, too. Oh, Sudama. Now what can I give you this time? Weapons don't, don't seem to be doing the trick, but you never know. This time could be the time. Katanas. How about better than that? Thought someone was coming after me there. Sound like a gaki or something. Oh, is this gonna be. Oh, good. Still not sure which way to go though. This is like. That's the thing that annoys me, it's like fucking huge, but it's like I don't know where else to go. You see I don't mind these levels, but they're so fucking massive, you just it's just easy to miss shit. And then you don't even know your way, so you keep going back to the same place, but that's to be expected. And I think I've mentioned it before, that's why I like to go through first and see where everything is. And plus how, like, which way to go so I don't get lost in experimenting with builds and shit like that, so. I'm not the most polished player, but it's like, you spend like 30, 35 minutes just trying to get through at a level. And that's on a good day. Go down here. Oh 
shit, I didn't even see him, fuck. Dark round there. Nice. Uh, there is a dark round there, so I'll just go this way. It should either link around or... The hell is that thing asleep? I wasn't sure about his decision to lie down. I guess it looks like there's another one here. I think there might be everything. I'm not quite sure if that's the way to go, but must be another. Is that a good dharma? I think it is. I guess we could just... Oh shit, I wasn't expecting her though. See, he's not doing too much more damage than me. Yes, distractor for me. Give me more trouble than I should worry about. Get him! I think it's a Yasuki, isn't it? Such a cool player. It's like a good idea to have that kind of stuff. Love it. And his axe is boss. Honest, found another shortcut. Go this way. Guess I could just pray. Get it out of the way. Hmm. Yeah, but then why were they hanging? Oh shit. Out of here. For that exact reason. Uh, take you out. Like, I'm not even sure where the fuck I'm going. Trying to find that fucking Kodama that was around here. Oh. Ah, let's try this. Must be yellow. Thank God.
Right. Get you out of the way. Uh, seals around this corner. Oh, Scampus. Not very talkative in this playthrough, it's like tired ass, so just trying to get through and then probably switch it off for the night. But yeah, you know, hopefully, you guys have been enjoying this uh, playthrough. I know it's taking a while to get it through, and it's, you know, it's really hard to try just to get through it. You know, the DLC is coming really soon as well, as of this video, so could even be out already, but. I gotta get this, uh, you know, the vanilla playthrough done first, and then try to put a build together that's, you know, legit. So it might take a while in itself, and I'm not even sure if I'm even gonna do the DLC, so we'll see how we go. I think as of this video, I should be playing The Last of Us by now. Should be well into it. You try and double plunge this asshole. Oh, bam, bam, bam. And that's what I love about that lightning, you know, it's, it just sets you up so well. Quite sure. I don't think I have any purples that might work. bearings a bit. There's actually a guy in there with something else. Look at that. Getting in there doing his thing. So much damage if you don't watch it out. Damn. It's getting demolished up in here. Need to get through there, but I'm not quite sure how. I could probably w find a barrel. Like it looks really om ominous that you can actually go and do that. Oh, there's one there. Use this instead. Nice. It's got one for the good guys. And what is this? Oh, sweet omio locks. Nice. That letter come through. I could use that surely. I think I can. Damn. Uh, I wonder if I. Maybe double back, triple back. Go backwards to go forwards, I guess. Oh, spring. Pretty sure there's just the one spring in this one. We are in a battle, you know. Alright, 
so I think that's the one. I'm trying to get the achievement we get all the um well just trying to get everything in general I think. Hmm. I guess there's one of those in there. Wonder how I can get it around to him. Got another one of those. Oh, that's right. Excuse me, just scratching on my side of my head. Damn. Maybe up this way. No, no, no. I'm just so always paranoid that I'm gonna get jumped or some shit and then die if I do it all again. There's a dark realm cloud again. Let's get it on. Oh shit. Just standing there getting his ass kicked. Take that. Probably better off to approach this approach this sooner or later, I'm just not sure. Who are the bad guys, who are the good guys? Just missing with that. That's pretty much the red half the reason why I brought him here. I mean, like you know, like uh, using like uh, X NPCs, they can just do so much damage. And if you can like combine it with yours, damn, it's always a good time. I thought I saw someone up there before. Could be wrong. Oh, no, I did. Okay, let's just grab everything we need. All the obvious items. But where is the guy that is starting all this shit? Oh damn. Hate fighting those dudes. Uh, might as well swap that over. It's an upgrade. Okay, come on. Oh shit, I'm using the wrong fucking weapon. It's hard as... Ah! Oh, that was lucky. Yeah, the one thing I keep forgetting to do is like... Burst counters. I keep forgetting to fucking do them. Oh, dropping heaps of course today. Nice. I'll take that. Another one of those. I think I was supposed to do that first and then go. I think that was what I was supposed to do. <laughs> 
Oh, what the shit. Bad throw. Okay, so that's a nice little shortcut we got. Then we can take on this big boy. Come on, then. Oh, we got, how the hell did he do that? Oh, damn, he's doing some major damage. Just like me. So like I'm not even sure if this is even the right fucking way. Now I'm pretty sure I looked everywhere. Nice. I do want to try to get it to 14 and skill to 16, so that might take a while actually, unless I farm it up off camera. We'll see how we go. Maybe when we go to the next region, I'll do it then, but we'll see how we go. I feel as if I've missed something. I don't think there's no Kadamas down here as well. Oh, is this the boss here already? Oh, there's a Katama on there. Lord Nobunaga is not far. Alright. So I'm not even sure how many... I'm not sure how many Kadamas that is, like... If that's the boss fight, then we should have probably... I'll go have a quick look around. I must have missed a couple. I think there's only six. My count could be wrong, but I'll go have a quick look around, I'll be right back in a sec. So, anyway guys, that was like a 30 second long break, because I think I know where one of them is. Um, I think there was a spot where I was fighting like... I'm not sure if you guys remember this, but there was like a... A skeleton on the ground. Uh, a Kuruku, or... Oh, one of those big snake head dudes in the corner and a yaki they were like all sitting around here I think I left the other guy alive so that's pretty much what one of them was so I, I think that's seven I'm not a hundred percent sure but I thought that might have been the last one but obviously not so I must have missed another one uh, surely can't be too far away though, so don't worry, I got this. I uh, will be back in a tick. Go see how far away it is, so I'll be back in a sec. <clears throat> Alright guys, welcome back. Well, again, not very far away. I know there was that dark realm that I didn't undo, so it must be in here. Um... Pretty sure that's a Karuku too, yeah, that's right. Got you, bastard. I oh, got him, nice. Oh shit, this guy's shooting him from the side. He wasn't even the bloody dude, damn it. Take that, you ass hat. Um. Oh, shit. Can I break that? Looks like I can. I can, nice. Oh no, it is a way out. Are you kidding me? Or maybe a way around. Since I can't negate the fire. Oh shit, I fucking knew that was one too.
You sneaky son of a bitch. Well, he's not one, so... Oh, fuck. Oh, there's someone getting hurt on the other side of that fucking thing, too. I think there's an e pump -taru. But down this way. Dead end. So I think I should handle this guy first. Yeah, nice. Got it that time, too. Did sacrifice a bit of health for it, but. And you get them in these little instances here, and it's all worth it. Alright, Scabbers, have you gonna come with? Gotta lift your load. Oh damn, I've got no fucking ammo left. But I do, however, have a cannon. That has ammo. Got you. Hit him, scampers. See, we're probably not doing the biggest damage, but they're getting constant damage in. So he was not the host either, damn. Who's the goddamn host then? Don't tell me it's that friggin' wheel monk. I could just fight that wheel monk. Oh crow, so close. Oh, they got me. Not that hard, they just fucking move around a lot. You shit, so he wasn't the host either. Oh. Damn, I need to get in there too. Must have been something I missed. Where's the ladder? But how good is it gonna be? I can't really plunge anyone. Like I said, I must have missed something. Oh, maybe I think it's this guy. It must be this guy. the host, damn it. I think I could have come here first, actually, to be honest. Shit, that must be it. Gets rid of all the flames. I didn't realise... I did realise, but I didn't realise straight away that the wheel monks were the ones doing the blue flame. So if I was doing a walkthrough, then I would probably have a bit of a different approach. Coach. 
and I think this might be the last one. Oh, thank the Lord it is. Holy oh, god damn. Ugh. I think that's one of my weaknesses in this game too, it's like... I keep forgetting about the Kadama sensor and I don't look at the screen every couple of or every like 30 seconds just to make sure, but... Damn. Something a bit of work on in the future I guess, so it's always good to know. A little bit of a learning process, but... I'll skip on back to where we were, so I'll be back in a sec. Alright, looks like we are ready to go guys. Just had to do a little bit of a... House cleaning and uh, you know, reorganize a few things. And let's go. Well, I kind of thought that you know he's weak to, well he's fire, so I'm guessing he's weak to water. So I went with that little tidbit there. Such a badass, this guy. Oh god damn. <laughs> well, I know where I'm going to. Well, gonna roll to, I guess I should say. Try to roll under her. Perfectly under space. Just have to find that balance. Oh, it's not typical. Uh, sure, which is more. I think it might be her wheels that are getting a lot of damage in. There's a blue flame in there. Oh, I must get that little bitch. You just have to be really aggressive, you know, try to roll underneath your wheels and then try to go for the crystals on her wheels. I think that might be about it. Damn. Look at that. Almost got her. Don't fuck it up now. And bang. You hit nice first time. And so yeah, that's pretty much it with this boss. I, well, from what I can ascertain, it's like you just gotta be aggressive with her. Try to stay on her, just beat the fucking shit out of her. Haha, <laughs> we're dead at it. I don't think there's anything else I missed, but let's just continue on. Goddamn, finally got there in the end. Oh, lonely samurai. Oh, Nine Tails. Reminds me of the movie, you know, um, The Last Samurai. And like, uh, this party reminds me of, um, 47 Ronin. Cool movie. A bit out there, but pretty sweet. Might be possible wife fool right there. Night tells is pretty sweet though. Of course if you're like a Naruto fan, Kurama looks a little bit different, but that's probably what I would expect anyway. 
Start showing Naruto and Sasuke fights. <laughs> Pretty sweet little line there. And I think what I read on with um, what I read on the wiki about the Nine Tails is that I'm pretty sure the Nine Tails is like a really really good luck um, guiding spirit. So if you're trying to farm like a I don't know soul core or an item piece, you know having that on helps with the drop rate. So might be a good little combination. Farming combination, I should say. There he is, nine tails, looking good. I'm not quite sure what the um, the amount of luck it is, but yeah, from what I read, it's, I can't remember what it was, but yeah, apparently he's like a luck, high luck if, if you have the requirements for everything else as well. So not a bad little thing to have. All right, guys, and that's pretty much been done. I know it's been a uh, Jesus, 42 minutes, fuck me dead. If I didn't miss out on those last two Kadamas, and we got Kasha too, look at that. Oh, a Beyblade. Fast movement and rear absorption, oh, that's going to come in handy. Holy crap, that's going to come in real handy. It's like a mini Tiger Scroll. So if I unlocked a couple of side quests. Uh, I think I need to do the Warrior, I think it is. Yeah, I'll worry about that. I'll do a little bit of research. Uh, see, see if any. I think it's the warrior drops us some uh, guardian spirit. So, anyway, I'll have a look at that off camera. But what I might do is just wrap it up here because it has been a very long video. I apologize. So, if you did enjoy that, remember to smash the like button and support my channel. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe because I love to hear your feedback and your comments in the comment section below. I am your esteemed host, Noisy Boy. Thanks for coming on by, and as always, guys. Stay noisy.